Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Weather Trends 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is the 10th of June. A lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about world rainfall, which is off the charts in some areas. Uh, El Nino update, hurricane outlook update, uh, two weeks ahead. And uh, Angelina goes to the beach. Save that for last. Uh, been a lot of rain, obviously, uh, in many areas of the world, and obviously here in the U.S. Uh, so year-to-date rainfall in the U.S. is actually the most in 30 years, very much near a record uh, over the last 124 years. Much of that rain has been in the south-central U.S. Uh, with hard-hit states like uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, uh, even Tennessee, where we've had 35, 40, 40 inches of rain. Uh, if you look at this map here of the world overall, though, you can see some areas are already well over 100 inches of rain in the tropics. They can maybe handle it, obviously, um, but again, uh, so 35, 40 inches, uh, a lot uh, for us here in the States. Uh, but again, a lot of areas of the world, uh, much more than that. thought we'd talk El Nino here real quick. Um, we've gone from a, a La Nina pattern last year, um, in increasing la late last year and toward a neutral phase, and then now we're very much in a weak, borderline moderate uh, El Nino event. Models on the right here show that, uh, again, maintaining that weak uh, El Nino status maybe all the way into winter. Uh, and it will have some implication both on our hurricane outlook and uh, in the winter ahead here. But again, right now considered a weak El Nino. Uh, if we look at the uh, ocean temperatures here, the map on the left is ocean temps versus average. Uh, map on the right is ocean temps versus last year. Uh, again, weak El Nino. Uh, negative AMO is uh, an Atlantic uh, multi-decadal uh, oscillation phase. Um, again, borderline weak negative. Uh, we've got some wind shear in the Atlantic and dust off Africa. All of these factors uh, really contribute to a a uh, weaker El, uh, Atlantic Ocean um, hurricane season. Uh, dust is another factor we got to watch. Uh, it's very, very, very dry in uh, eastern Africa, where a lot of the tropical systems late season, uh, Cape Verde season, will develop. Uh, again, very, very dry, though, in uh, eastern Africa, and a lot of dust still coming off of Africa. So this is another factor that kind of precludes the uh, hurricane season. Uh, a lot of folks did update their hurricane season outlook. Uh, we added DTN, IBM to the list. Uh, they actually went very high, uh, much above average. Um, ironically, last year, uh, IBM was very low. Um, so Weather Trends is going to still maintain our uh, outlook here of a near average to slightly below average season. Uh, despite that, though, we are still very, very worried, concerned about uh, Florida, southeast Florida, Miami in particular, uh, is our kind of our high threat area this year. Last year, again, um, Ironically, IBM Weather Company was on the low end of the list, but uh, Weather Trends was on the high end of the list. We had 15 last year and nailed the two major landfalling threat areas in Florida and uh, North Carolina. So again, we like our chances to be on the, the low end of the season here this year uh, for a lot of factors. Looking at this week, uh, 10 through 16 June, uh, cold. Um, coldest in 24 years nationally uh, for the eastern two-thirds of the country. Uh, very, very hot still out in the Pacific Northwest, but uh, overall we'd say this is the second coldest uh, middle June period here in 30 years. Uh, rainfall is the wettest in four years nationally and fifth wettest in 30 years, so uh, very wet. Uh, actually, after a beautiful weekend here in the in the Northeast, uh, we're going to get some uh, very heavy one, two, three inches of rain here uh, the next couple of days, another round midweek. Father's Day's coming up. Uh, I thought this graphic was uh, pretty cute. Uh, dad and his son uh, growing a tree, and then obviously some 20, 30 years later, Dad with his child uh, swinging in that big tree. So uh, again, Father's Day, unfortunately, we're looking at the coolest in five years nationally. Um, not horrible, but uh, 13th coolest in 30 years. Number one wettest in 30 years. Probably going to have a big storm system in the somewhere in the central central part of the country. Uh, looks like to be the, the worst weather conditions. Jumping ahead to next week after Father's Day, uh, we got the coolest in five years nationally. Not as cool as this past week, this current week. Uh, tenth warmest in 30 years, but uh, again, Euro's definitely colder than the GFS, so the, the cooler trends continue. Um, not seeing the super, super hot, scorching hot summer for the nation as a whole. Some hot spots, obviously, still the Pacific Northwest, uh, probably going to be the hot spot this year, and maybe the Southeast. Rainfall, again, back to that number one wettest in, ten, in 30 years. Um, took the little one to the we call it the beach, but uh, Jersey calls it the shore, uh, Jersey Shore. Um, so she's got her hat there on and her WT360 superhero. So bucket check, shovel check, hat check, got her superhero. And then, of course, are we there yet? Uh, fortunately, only about an hour and a half drive. Um, it was hysterical watching her with the big waves. Um, she, a couple times, actually started singing the Daddy Shark, Mommy Shark, Baby Shark song. And so um, did yell a couple times, shark. Um, so we'll have to teacher that that probably not the best song to sing when you're at the at the beach um, with that folks we hope you have a great week and uh, we will be back here this time next week